All right, welcome back to Games for Everybody. I'm your host Matt here with my co-host for this episode, Nate from Nate Green Games, right? Yep, that's yep. me. All right, uh, so we're back in the boarding school, which has now become like a hospice essentially, and they're, the nuns are taking care of all these sick people. So I'm in a room with all the sick people. So there's another patient here. He is quite a pale young boy. He's asleep. All right. Oh, there's a nun with another patient here. Hmm. There are several yeah, crucifixes, crucifixes all together at the headboard of this bed. Why? What were you saying? I was just I was mentioning the crucifixes because that's weird. Yeah, there's like four above this bed. It's kind of odd. And then the nun standing next to him? They probably think he's possessed or something. Probably. Let's talk to the patient. Please, someone. Piety. And the nun says, I'm sorry, you cannot be here. Is there some way I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after each and every one of our patients. He'll provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray there next to the statue of Our Lady. Don't you think she is beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Okay. Eh. Yeah, she's just saying the same thing all over again. Yeah. A gloomy statue of Virgin Mary makes this place even more mournful, if that's possible. Huh. So there's two doors here. Let's go through this first one. Oh, that just takes me outside. Side door. Yeah. Yeah, let's stay inside. Go through this door. All right, so I'm in another room. Looks like a classroom. Yeah, it's an old classroom. Nice. I remember that we used to keep some textbooks here. Now there's a music box. Well, let's take the music box. That'll probably waken some patient from his stupor. True. Oh, there's a note here on one of the desks. Dear brother, I've received your letter and I'll try to write you more frequently. I hope you're studying a lot and you feel comfortable there. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father's in bed with fever and I do not feel very well, but I'm on medication. Today's my birthday and I'm feeling blue. It's a quiet and boring Sunday at the village. Mum is going to cook a lemon cake like those grandma like those grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Write back soon. I'm looking forward to knowing how you're doing, what you're learning, how is Scotland, and so on. A big hug. I think about you a lot. Your dear sister. There's no name. Let's keep going. There's the teacher's desk is here. January 15th, 1876. Father Ernest seemed unusually troubled today. Several times he paused abruptly in the middle of a lecture for no reason, even during his favorite class, Theology. Uh, January 18th. Today, Father Ernest was very irritable. Collins made a comment and, and was expelled from class for it, and even Devitt was admonished just for reading a philosophy book. I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire toward me. My father will be disappointed if I fail to get good marks. It was very disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled, dazed, and had to sit. Uh, January 22nd, Father Eugene taught our theology class today, even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest. When we asked him what had happened to Father Ernest, Father Eugene told us he had taken ill. What worries me is now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. So, February 20th. It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. We're told he's still sick, but if he's so ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging, but I've taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps as I must succeed in spite of the problems happening around us. It was announced this morning the school is to close. None of us know why, and we cannot get a straight answer from the faculty. They each dodge the question, and I'm starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. Their anxiety is palpable, though they try to hide it behind a calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I hear he alone is to remain after we vacate the premises. And then there's a photo. Uh, let's see. It's the photograph of my graduating class. I see myself, Father Ernest, and Anthony. I don't remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Wow. Hmm. Let's see. There's an odd sentence written on the blackboard. In death there is hope, in death there is life. One must seek its true nature to understand the nothing. It looks like it's been there for some years as the chalk has faded in some places. Weird. Okay, well that's everything in the classroom. Let's see if the music box can help anyone. I'll play it for a couple of patients. No, no, no. Maybe first dude? Oh, uh, we can try it. No, not the lady either. Okay, maybe that nun? No? Huh. We can try. Hmm. 
Nope. Weird. I'll see if I can do anything with the uh, nun downstairs, too. That doesn't work. Let's talk to her. Um, do you take care of patients here? Of course, Mr. Devitt. We tend to both the physical and spiritual needs of those in our care. Did you say Monsignor already lived here when this venue still was a boarding school? Indeed, he still was priest and professor before he became Monsignor and started to lead this place. That must be, what's his face? Uh, Father, what was the first guy's name? Ernest, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably him. It was probably the dude who's whipping himself at the beginning. Yeah. Could I talk to Monsignor? I'm afraid that's impossible. Monsignor has left strict instructions that he not be disturbed, not even by any of the sisters. Who's Mr. Baldwin? Monsignor instructed me to take him on as caretaker. Many of the sisters find him a bit strange, but he performs his work well and complains little. Mother Elizabeth, Mr. Baldwin told me lately a lot of patients are dying. What's happening? Sadly, the Lord is taking many of these unfortunate souls. Thank you, Mother. I'll leave you with your duties. Okay. Maybe the music box for the Mr. Baldwin, the gravedigger guy? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I still can't go in that room. All right, yeah, let's go to Mr. Baldwin, see if he can do anything with it. Nope. Well, nope. I'll, I'm going to consult the walkthrough and see what I need to do. What about that grave? Uh, all right. Uh, let's see what it says, if there's anything else that I need. Oh, hang on. I know what I need. There's something I need to do. Did we miss something? Um, yeah. It's that, that lady with the brother. Oh, she's... So she's talking to him. I think I can steal the bag behind her back now. Yep, I got uh, the I got the letters. And now we can probably use the letters. Yeah, I'm going to use it on that guy. My letters! All the letters I wrote to dear Juliet! You never posted them! But why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <clears throat> How could you be so cruel? She says I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. Her only interest is in marrying someone of your status, of our family's status. It was for your sake I did this. I did it to protect you from that woman's treachery. And he says, no, you only thought about yourself, of your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. Dang. She says, you dare banish me, I who have stayed by your side all through your illness? Very well, Matthew. You will have your way. I will leave you, and then you'll see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. Let's see what he says. Thanks be to the Lord that you've come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please, take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is my lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than it has myself. So I got a coin. Interesting. It looks like it's tied to a string. Maybe I can get that thing through the drain, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll check it out. Although it does suck you had to, you know, estrange your brother and sister just so you could get a piece of string. Yeah, to be but... fair, she was kind of a jerk. Yeah, that's true. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. Um, maybe you can combine it with something? Uh, maybe. Let me... Nope. No. All right. Was it say the mirror is too thick to pin into the wood? I could break it if I force it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see what we got. Yeah, I got the music box. I got the photo. I got that. I got the the net from the beach. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I do have to go back to that nun. The one that was real sad that had the morphine. Oh, okay. Oh, the music box on the sad nun. Why didn't we think of that before? Oh, well, I originally did it, but I couldn't back then, but now I can use the coin to wind the music box. Ah. 
Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you, for you've given me the sign I was looking for. See, all we and need now is... we can take the morphine. Yep, all we need is music. Oh, I still can't take it. What uh, gives? But she might have, like, opened a door or something. Oh, I can do something with this window. Oh, I can go outside? Oh, there's a drain. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in a hole of this old rusty pipe. They're blocking the water stream. Alright, so now I can clear the stream. The hole has very sharp and rusty edges. Okay, well now I can put that net in there. No, I could cut myself with the edge of the pipe. Huh. Uh, maybe... Maybe the log? Or the stone? Oh, I'm using oh, the yeah. stone to, to smooth the edges. Yep. Now I can stick that net in there, and now I can turn on the tap of that shower, uh, and it'll it'll go down the drain and go through the pipe, and the net will catch whatever it is. Ah, that's super obscure. Like, I know, right? What? Why? Because it's an adventure game. Oh, I know. That's almost as bad. Have you ever played The Longest Journey? I don't think I have, no. I. It sounds familiar. What, what is it? What is it? Hello? You there? Yep. No, uh, I blacked out for a sec. Okay. But I'm back. Uh, gotcha. No, it's it's a really, really famous uh, adventure game that they did uh, probably 15 years ago now. Oh, but wow. That thing had some crazy obscure like solutions to puzzles. It was ridiculous. Huh. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I may have to check it out. Longest Journey... Okay, well... Oh, it's, it's fantastic. And then they, they made a sequel. Oh, the reason you probably know about it is because they just released the third uh, part of it, Dreamfall Chapters. Oh, okay. Alright, I turned on the shower, so I'm going to go get that item now. Let's see what it is. The net's caught the shiny object. Okay, let's take it. What is it? Teardrop. Huh, I guess it's a jewel. Yeah, maybe it attaches to a statue? Oh, the Virgin Mary. Oh, yeah. Nice. I placed the glass tear in, in a hollow of the virgin's cheek. It seems it fits perfectly. Now I'm going to use the mirror on it. And it's it's shining now. The nun's looking at it. Oh, our mother is crying. Huh. Oh my lord, what does it mean? It means that a dude put a glass teardrop in there. Yeah. What have I done? What have we done? Ooh, she sees it as a sign. Well, now I can talk to the patient one-on-one, -on -one, the one with all the crucifixes. What does he yeah. say? Please help. Oh, God. Yeah, let's talk to him. You must help me. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There's little time. I tell them about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain, yet they do not listen. They pass me by without even looking at me. They say that they're praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But, sir, I... I know, but I beseech you. You'll be saving me from horrible torture. I'll be eternally in debt indebted to you um yeah why not yeah. I understand your request is terribly hard f for me I guess I could find the courage to help you I understand the magnitude of what I am asking God bless you sir I do not know how I can show my gratitude what I need you to do is without the nuns noticing to try and get an amount of morphine enough so so that I can be embraced by the deepest of dreams and in that way stop the rhythm of my heart oh god he wants me to euthanize him yep uh, so you're gonna you're gonna Kevorkian in this dude. Yeah, well, I gotta go get that morphine now. Like, I thought he just wanted me to ease his pain, like, like, you know, with morphine, not to, like, ease his pain with morphine, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, Jeez. it's, like... Well, I mean, if I, I want to beat this game, right? <laughs> God, I'm such a psychopath. All right.
Nah, he's he's suffering. But it's like, oh, I don't care. I just want to beat the game. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. There's a note. What does it say? Baldwin lies, and it's just repeated over and over again, like the Shining style. Just Baldwin right. lies, Baldwin lies. Oh, jeez. Well, let's. That's getting real. Yeah, let's talk to Baldwin, the grave digger outside. Noise is coming from inside the coffin. Oh, God. Oh, is he burying people alive? Yeah, so Baldwin's gone, but there's banging on the coffin. I cannot open the coffin with my own hands. The lid is nailed. Use the log to pry it. The log is too soft. Dang. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't have the stone anymore. Maybe he left his shovel or something? Oh, yeah. A grave recently dug. I don't see anything like a... Uh... Hmm. Uh, me neither. Eh, let's go... Alright, it says I need to go back to the front. I just checked the walkthrough. That is creepy. Alright, Baldwin's out front. It looks like he's hammering something. Oh, he's got a toolbox next to him. Nice. Let's see. What does he say? He's wiping the sweat from his brow. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening, alumnus Devitt. Alright. It looks like his toolbox. I wonder if there's something useful in it. I might be able to take a look if I keep him distracted. Uh, let's see. How do I distract him? Tell me about this place. Well, the construction of this building was ordered by an Episcopal Bishop of Aberdeen in 1805. Okay. Jeez, I just wanted you to tell me about the building, not its history. God. Oh. Uh, uh, what does it say? Tell me about Aberdeen. It was the place where I was born and raised, one of the biggest cities in Scotland. If you look here, towards the northeast, you'll... Yep, time to take his stuff. I got some kind of crank. Oh, you seem a bit extra... Di a bit distracted, Mr. Devitt. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just stealing from you. Yeah, I know. Alright, I'll leave him with his work. Maybe I can use that thing. Yeah, like, it, it's some kind of crank. I don't know. It, Let me... It does look like a crank. Let me see if I can use it on the coffin. Oh, yeah, I opened it up. Oh, there's a, a patient in there. Oh, she just collapsed. The darkness of his eye. That's her talking. The bo Oh, his body. Okay, just looked like they had long hair. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. A nun just came up. Oh my god, what has happened? Talk, talk to me. Mother Elizabeth is trying to make him come to his senses. Ooh, Mother Elizabeth is distracted now. I can go in that other room. Yep. Yeah, this is getting creepy. Well, you know what? This is as good a time as any to stop, so we'll end the episode here, and uh, I will see you guys next time.